kahit magandang umaga, magandang tanghali at magandang gabi. Whatever time you are watching, ang mahalaga po, nagkita-kita po muli tayo online through our Monday devotion. And we're still talking about family. Mm-hmm. Dahil mahalaga po sa Diyos ang ating pamilya. And today, malalaman niyo po yung topic natin. And before that, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father, salamat po muli. We thank you for this day, another week na binigay mo sa amin. Lord, you such a good God. And um, ikaw ang aming buhay, ikaw ang aming lakas. Sa iyo kami, umaasa, Panginoong Diyos. Maging ang aming pamilya, maging ito man ay hindi uh, perfecto or maayos, Panginoon. Pero alam po namin, Panginoon, mahal mo ang aming pamilya at nais mo itong mapabuti. So we look unto you, Lord God, and we ask that you will help us, Lord God, to do our part sa aming pong family. Amen. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes. <clears throat> So as uh, Pastor Arnel shared, we're talking about family still. Mm-hmm. And I remember in the beginning of the year 2021, we uh, said that we would be sharing about family for the whole year. Mm-hmm. It's now November, two wow. months na lang, and uh, we've been Bilis. talking about family for the whole year. Ang bilis ng panahon. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the title of our devotion for today is... Um, the series is how to share my faith with my family and friends. Uh, subtitled is sharing, sharing faith, faith with my family is rewarding. rewarding. So at times, it can be hard to share our faith with family members and friends because they have known us for our entire lives. At the same time, witnessing to our loved ones can be very effective. Since these people have known us for a long time, they can see the changes that God has done in us firsthand. Mm-hmm. To them, these changes are unmistakable. Mm-hmm. When a family member sees a person who used to be fundamentally selfish, caring for others and serving others, the individual will recognize the difference. Mm-hmm. When loved ones know that you used to be focused on material things, and now they, you are giving money to charity, they will notice. If you did not like the church or the Word of God, but now read your Bible daily, the family will be first to know that something special happened to you. God's transforming work in your life will be obvious to your family members. Our witness to our family can be very difficult at first. However, with time, it, be, it can become our most effective witness. witness yes. Our family members and friends can be the first people to acknowledge the changes that Christ has made in our life. In other words, give it time. Stay focused and let your light shine. Yes. Eventually, your whole house will be bright. Your actions will speak as loudly about Christ as your words do. Ganda no, no? Mm-hmm. Your actions will speak as loudly about Christ as your words do. Ibig sabihin, mm-hmm. nagla-line up yung words and yung action, action. mo. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka puro salita, may uh-huh. kasamang action. action. So, your actions will speak as loudly mm-hmm. about Christ as your words do. Mm-hmm. When your loved ones see trans- your transformation, they might come to you themselves and ask how it happened. That would be the perfect time to share your faith in the saving grace of Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. When we come to Him, our lives are illuminated and transformed by His glory. This transformation is noticeable. That is why Christ said that we need to let our light shine in such a way that others will see our good deeds and glorify God. Surely, as our family members see our faith lived in action, In our day-to-day lives, they will want to know the God who transformed us. Mm -hmm. Our actions can help us share our faith with our loved ones. Our very lives can be a witness for God, for the God we believe in. Mm -hmm. The scriptures for today is Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city cannot be hidden when it is located on a hill. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket. 
Instead, everyone who lights a lamp puts it on a lampstand. Then its light shines on everyone in the house. Mm -hmm. In the same way, let your light shine in front of people. Then they will see the good that you do and praise your Father in heaven. Ephesians 5 8 says, Once you lived in the dark, but now the Lord has filled you with light. Live as children who have light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12 says, Live decent lives among unbelievers. Then although they ridicule you as if you were doing wrong while they are watching you do good things, they will praise God on the day He comes to help you. Mm -hmm. And so, basically, what it's saying here is, um, you know, our lives will really be yung witness of family. Yeah. Pagbabago ng ating buhay, yan talaga magiging witness. Mm -hmm. That is actually the, the word of God preach. Yung mm -hmm. sinasabi natin is lined up with our action. Yan ang, mm -hmm. ano, yan ang powerful. Yes. Uh, that is powerful and effective. It will speak loudly, sabi doon, oh. about Christ as your words do. So, may higit pa din sa ating uh -oh. salita, yung action, yung, yung So, hindi lang natin. dapat yung, yung preaching of the gospel. Actually, yung salita is useless <laughs> without, without, if it's not coupled with uh, yung action, action natin. Yes, yes. Kung hindi nakikita sa buhay natin yung sinasabi natin, bali wala lahat mm -hmm. ng sinasabi natin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? I, I shared last Sunday, uh, last Monday, uh, <clears throat> someone said to be careful how you live for your life might be the only Bible people might read. read yes yung buhay natin talaga people read that we are we are a book for people to read we are the bible that people read so kailangan we kailangan natin mabuhay ayon sa salita ng Dios let god transform us mm -hmm. as god transforms us they will see that transformation kaya sabi dito you know we need to be patient kaya maging patient tayo sa sarili natin mm -hmm. we need to be patient with ourselves and the transformation that god is doing in our lives as God transforms us, people will see that transformation. And this will be the reason why they too will come to the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember, before I turn it over to Pastor Arnel, I remember, there was a babae when I was still single. Uh, lived in Lapu-Lapu together with my parents, Pastor Jimmy. There was a lady in that street that niya yung mother ko minsan. Mm -hmm. And sabi niya sa ma mother ko that she's always watching us. Mm -hmm. kami, especially kami ni Pastor Jimmy. Mm -hmm. She's watching us. She's keeping an eye on us. Mm -hmm. Si parang tinitingin niya kung uh, uh, anong klaseng buhay meron kami. Yes. And so, it led her to receiving Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, although hindi naman kami perfect, we don't claim to be perfect, pero meron siya nakita sa amin Na, that led her to receive Jesus Christ as well. Mm -hmm. And hindi lang siya, pati yung mga anak niya. Ibang uh, mga anak niya tumanggap din kay, kay Christ. In fact, uh, minsan nag-attend dito, walang masyama, dahil sa trabaho, hindi nakaka-attend, pero minsan nakapag-attend din dito yung anak niya. Mm -hmm. So because of our lives, people will come to know Jesus Christ. So, you know, I'm going to read this part again where it says to, to be patient. It, it tells us, our witness to our family can be very difficult. However, with time, it can be our most effective witness. Yes. In other words, give it time. Stay focused and let your light shine. shine. Give it time. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, napakalaga po yung ating action or yung gawa natin. You know, people are watching us. Mm -hmm. Pe uh, family members natin, tinitignan nila tayo. So every move that we make, tinitignan nila kung tayo ay totoo nga o hanggang salita lamang. So we need to be careful. And hindi naman sa na, naka, naka, kumbaga, pressure tayo na mag-perform. But then again, sabi dun, when we receive Jesus Christ, we have that light. Amen. And sabi ni Jesus, let that light shine. Actually, hindi naman talaga tayo, kundi si Jesus. Dahil nga, unti-unti niya tayong binabago, then yung action natin, tinutulungan tayo ng Panginoong Jesus to let that light shine before men. And sabi doon, that, uh, ano, sabi doon, let your light shine in such a way that others will see our good deeds. Hindi yung our words. Napansin nyo yun? 
so that others will see our good deeds, yung gawa natin. Hindi yung salita talaga eh. So, kahit hindi ka magsalita, but the actions there, yung pag-ibig ni Lord, yung, yung pagbabago na ginagawa ni Lord sa buhay natin, then yun ang, yun ang makikita ng ating mga family members. And then, they will ask, what happened? What happened to you? So that's the time na share natin yung gospel. Sabi doon naman sa 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12, live decent life among unbelievers. So hindi lamang sa pamilya, kundi maging sa ating kapitbahay, kaibigan. Sabi doon, live decent lives. So again, action pa rin, pamumuhay. Mm-hmm. Hindi, hindi lang sa salita. So actually, talaga, yung, yung buhay natin, tama, yun ang babasahin ng mga tao, Amen. ng mga kaibigan natin, and most of all, yung pamilya natin. And so, let us, let our light shine before them. And it's very rewarding talaga to see our family members come to Jesus dahil nakita nila sa atin. They see something happen sa buhay natin. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung love natin, and how naging, dati, ang iksi ng ating pasyensya, pero ngayon, humaba na. Because of the love of God na naintindihan na natanggap natin Amen. sa Panginoon. I know a, um, a husband and wife, uh, yung wife Christian at that time, mm-hmm. yung husband hindi pa. Yeah, marami mga ganyang so, kwento ngayon. And then, uh, you know, okay, balikan natin, uh, yung, yung babae ba, Christian, Christian, yung lalaki hindi. Mm-hmm. Minsan, it's the other way around. Vice versa. Pero maraming ganong situation, katulad na banggit mo, Pastor. Mm-hmm. Now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, minsan nakakaroon sila ng uh, misunderstanding, argument. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And itong asawang babae, pumupunta sa nanay. Mm-hmm. And lagi sinasabi ng nanay, bumalik ka sa asawa mo, mm-hmm. serve him, love him, mm-hmm. pray for him. Mm-hmm. Eventually, after time, na born again yung lalaki. Yes. Dahil sa buhay na pinakita niya mm-hmm. dun sa kanyang asawa. Yes. So yun yung sinasabi ni Lord Jesus na, let your light shine Amen. before man. In other Amen. words, talagang ipakita natin, kahit anong tindi ng, ng taong yan sa palagay mo, hindi magbabago. Kapag nakita nila yung, yung pagbabago na ginawa ni Jesus sa atin. And of course, it's the work of the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. convicting the hearts of yes. men na they need Jesus. Uh-huh. So, napakahalaga. Amen. So, yun nga, may mga babae, yung asawa nilang lalaki, hindi pa Krisyano. At the same time, may mga lalaki naman na born, na born again sila. Tapos yung wife nila, hindi pa uh, Krisyano. Ganun din. True love, and serving and respecting Amen. people na makikita talaga nila na merong Kristo sa puso nitong Amen. itong asawa ko, itong, itong mag- magulang ko, o itong mga anak ko. Sa buong family, pwede pong mangyari yan. So don't lose hope. Amen. Be encouraged. Yes. Yeah. So Let your na, light shine before men. Let your man. light shine. Mm. So that's all we have to share for today. And we hope that you're encouraged. No? Uh, nothing is impossible with God. Yes. Your families as promised by God when one is saved, all shall be saved. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, ang Panginoong Diyos po, hindi po siya nag-give up sa ating family. Maybe ikaw, nag-give up ka na sa, sa family members mo, sa asawa mo, sa anak mo, sa magulang mo. But God, hindi siya nag-give up. As long as meron tayong buhay, may pag-asa. God is always there. Uh, not wanting anyone would perish, but come to a re- realization na kailangan nila si Jesus. Amen. So that's our prayer. Tayo mga Kristiyano na sa ating pamilya pero yung ating members ng ibang family natin, sa family natin, hindi pa. Continue to pray. Patuloy po natin silang ipag-pray. Continue to love them. Continue to serve them. That's all that we can do. And when we do that, when we show our love in action, God will intervene. And He promised na ililigtas niya yung ating mga mahal sa buhay. Amen? Amen. If, that's your, if that's your prayer, you know, God is hearing that prayer. And one day, breakthrough is coming. Amen. Amen. Salvation will come to your Amen. family. Amen. Let us pray. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, we pray right now sa aming po mga family members na hindi pa nakakilala sa iyo. Yes, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we pray that Una sa lahat kami, Panginoon, patuloy mong baguhin. Yes, Lord. And that we will be able to show your love and let your light shine before them through our action, through serving them, through loving them and being patient, Lord God, and, and, and accepting them, Lord God, the way 
you have accepted us, Lord God. Lord, we wait patiently. We know that you promise that you will save them, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you. Even right now, we give you thanks and praise for saving our family. Amen. Because our family matters to you, Lord God. And so, Lord, again, we pray for those who are listening right now with those issues of family, Lord God. We pray for your healing. We pray salvation, peace, Lord God. Forgiveness, acceptance of buong pamilya, Panginoon. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord God, that you are a God of breakthrough. You will break through, Lord God. Amen. You will save family, Lord God. Lord, again, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. And God bless, bless CRC. CRC. God, God bless, bless the Philippines. And God, God bless Olongapo. God bless you. And remember, have a great week because God is great. God amen. is good all, all the, the time. time. Hallelujah.